Yo what is up guys, so today I'll be unboxing 3 new headphones from Huawei Audio Family and I'm really excited so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Right so here is the box and I got the white version so let's open it. So we'll talk about this in a bit, so diving deep, there's another box that contains the USB-C charging cable and below that there's a drawer that contains the rubber tip and the user guides manual. So here is the charging case, it's tiny and it feels really premium and there's this shiny metal hinge that has the Huawei branding then below that is a USB-C charging port and a LED battery indicator then on the right is a Bluetooth pairing button. Right, so let's pop the magnetic lid and here are the FreeBuds Pro and another battery LED indicator. Right, so quick specs. This headphones is equipped with Kirin A1 chip, Bluetooth 5.2, and 11mm dynamic driver and it's the world's first dual antenna TWS earbuds in the market. Right, so pairing is super easy. Just pop the lid up and your phone will automatically get this connection option and in one tap, you're now connected. The magnets on this are really strong and it holds up pretty well even though you shake it like this. And by the way, here's the proper way to take the earbuds out. Right, so let's take a look at the free buds and they both have Huawei branding on the side. Then there are some front facing microphones as you can see here. Then at the bottom here we can see the charging pins. Then there are bone voice sensors on both sides. So what it does is basically interpret the bone vibration and enhances the quality of your voice so you'll have a clear voice during phone calls or audio recording. Right, so here are some audio samples using the FreeBuds Pro. Yo, what's up guys? I'm currently inside the house and this is the audio sample using the FreeBuds Pro. Yo, what's up guys? I'm currently outside the house so this is the audio quality using the FreeBuds Pro. Right, so here's how you can change the volume. Just swipe up or down. And then a single pinch will play or pause a music or even answer calls. And then pinch twice to reject calls or skip to another song. And then pinch three times to let you go back to the previous song. And then pinch and hold to turn the ANC on. By the way, the FreeBuds has three modes. One is the noise cancelling mode, awareness mode, and the off mode. Noise cancelling mode is usually used when you're just chilling and watching Netflix videos or listening to music while doing stuff in your home. Then awareness mode is when you're outdoor and wants to be aware of your surrounding while listening to music like for example jogging or cycling or any outdoor activities. Then lastly off mode usually when taking calls or just want to use it as a normal earphones. There is also an app called AI Life where you can customize your free buds. It also displays your earbuds battery status and here you can select the mode you want so I'll put it to noise cancelling and it's currently set to ultra noise cancelling which is good for extremely noisy place. So I'll just set this to dynamic so it will automatically adjust depending on my surroundings. Here you can even test if the tip you're using properly fits you. And also you can turn the smartware detection off if you want. By the way, smartware detection automatically pauses a music or video once you take off both or even one earbuds and it will automatically resume playing media once you wear it again. Gaming using the FreeBuds Pro is surprisingly good, especially because of that dual antenna and Bluetooth 5.2 certified chipset that reduces the latency to a striking 180 milliseconds which is super important especially when you're playing PUBG or COD Mobile. Charging is also fast, you can either charge it through USB-C and it takes around 1 hour to fully charge or you can even use your phone to charge it and it takes roughly 2 hours to fully charge it wirelessly. And a single charge brings you up to 8 hours of listening and up to 36 hours when coupled with the charging case. It also supports dual connects so you can connect this to two different devices simultaneously and with this, you can watch movies on your tablet as well as taking calls with your mobile phone without switching connections. By the way, the FreeBuds Pro is in category 8 on the OnePlus 8 Plus N strategy whereas 1 refers to the smartphones, 8 for tablet, TV, PC, watches, and headphones, and N refers to smart homes, mobile offices, and etc. So this is Huawei's new strategy that aims to give you a seamless ecosystem experience across Huawei devices which is really interesting. Right, so my final thoughts about the FreeBuds Pro will be at the end of the video so let's go ahead and unbox the next one. Right, so here is the FreeLace Pro so let's go ahead and take the FreeLace Pro out. 
So I just love this easy pull thing on their boxes which makes it a lot easier to pull stuff. Okay, so before we talk about the Freelace Pro, let's dive deeper into the box. So here we got some paperwork like manual and warranties, a USB-C charging cable, a pair of large rubber ear tips, and another pair of smaller rubber ear tips. Right, so here is the Freelace Pro and it looks really nice. And this is called the Obsidian Black. So on the front here you can see the volume buttons and the play and pause and on the right side is the power button with the LED light then there's no buttons on the left side then the right side is detachable and hides the USB-C which you can use to plug directly to your phone to charge it. The Freelace Pro is IP55 water and dust resistant, has Bluetooth 5.0, 14.2mm dynamic driver, and 150mAh battery. Right, so just like the FreeBuds Pro, all you have to do is turn the Freelace Pro on and just wait for the connection window to pop up on your phone and then just tap connect and you're good to go. And with high pair technology, you can easily pair and charge the Freelace Pro at the same time just by plugging it to your phone. And surprisingly, a 5 minute charge can give you 5 hours of playback and a full charge can last up to 24 hours with noise cancellation off and 16 hours with noise cancellation on which is really impressive. The Freelace Pro also supports dual connections so you can easily switch between two devices without any hassle. Just double press the power button to switch to the last connected device like this. The Freelace Pro also has this magnetic snap design and when you attach both earbuds, it will automatically pause the music and disconnect your phone to save battery which is a cool feature. Right, so there are also three modes on the Freelace Pro. All you have to do is tap and hold the left earbud to activate the awareness mode. So the awareness mode lets you hear the surrounding while listening to music. This is good especially when you're jogging outside or walking down the street. And then we have the noise cancelling mode which is good for taking calls especially when you're in a noisy place. And then we have the off mode which basically works as a normal earphones. Right, so the Freelace Pro automatically enables the low latency gaming mode when you start playing games. And the audio latency for gaming is great reduced down to 150 milliseconds which is really good especially for PUBG and COD Mobile. The Freelace Pro has two highly sensitive microphones on each side. One is an outward facing mic that picks up external noise and counters it with an anti-noise sound. Then one inward mic that picks up in-ear noise and generate additional anti-noise sound to eliminate it. Alright so let's move on to the last audio family member which is the Freebud Studio. Okay so let's go ahead and lift the box. And there you go, there's a nice carry case which we'll talk about in a bit. So under that, there's another box that contains the user guides manual and the warranty card. So going back to this nice carry case that has a Huawei branding on the center and it feels like a textured leather which felt premium in my opinion. Okay, so let's take a look inside. So of course, here's the Huawei FreeBuds Studio. Then as you can see here, there's another compartment which is magnetic and contains the USB-C charging cable which is nice. Then of course the FreeBud Studio which is really light and has this super soft padding as you can see here. And here are the touch capacity buttons on the right side. Right, so here's a quick specs. So the FreeBud Studio is equipped with 40mm dynamic driver which is powered by Kirin A1 chip. And it also has dual antenna setup and an intelligent dynamic ANC that claims that it can reduce ambient noise up to 40 decibels. And it has a built-in 410 milliamp batteries. So taking a closer look, on the left side there is a dedicated button for ANC. Then we got these holes for the microphones. Then on the right we have the Bluetooth pairing button, power button, USB-C port then another set of microphones. I also noticed that the inner part is angled and not flat which makes your ears closer to the drivers which I guess better. There are also some sensors inside that pauses the music or video when you remove the headphones or even just lift one side of the headphone. The length adjustment is pretty smooth and very sturdy. Right, so let's go ahead and pair it with the Mate 40 Pro. Just turn it on and then press the Bluetooth pairing button and the connection request will pop up on the Mate 40 Pro. So just tap connect. So you will only have to do this once. So same as the FreeBuds Pro and the Freelace Pro, this one also has three modes and I bet this has the best ANC or active noise cancellation because it covers your entire ears. But anyways, we'll try that in a bit. 
Then of course, like the other headset, it also supports Dual Connect, which is very handy, especially if you have multiple devices. And gaming with the Freebird Studio is also great with very low latency and it almost felt like I'm using a wired headset, which is really impressive. Battery life is great, it's fast charging and it can be fully charged within 60 minutes and for that you get up to 24 hours of music playback and for a quick 10 minutes charge you get 8 hours of music playback with ANC off. The Freebird Studio has 8 microphones so that is 4 microphones on each side and it really does an amazing job in cancelling noise and here is a sample voice recording using the Freebird Studio. Hey what's up guys, so I'm currently inside the house, so this is the audio quality using the Freebird Studio. Right, so I'm currently outside the house and this is the audio quality using the Freebird Studio. Right, so for my final thoughts, first of all, they all sound great. Noise cancellation on all three are good, but the Freebird Studio is the best in terms of noise cancellation since it covers your entire ears and it has 8 microphones so I guess that's the reason why it performed better but honestly they all did a great job in noise cancellation and the clarity of voice during voice call is surprisingly good on all three headsets and they all have good battery life and very low latency while playing games which is really good especially for me as I play a lot on my phone and by the way the Freelace Pro is the only one that has IP55 water and dust resistance so if you guys are into sports and get sweaty all the time then this one is for you but for me my favorite one is the freebuds pro i like everything about it it's tiny it can easily fit in my pocket it has great sound good battery life minimalist design and it's half the price of apple airpods so i guess it's really worth it right so there you go guys that is my review of the huawei audio family thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one